All right, trying to figure out the, the right setting for my Tesoro 12 using it on the longitude. Okay. Put in the free spool. Let's see. He's falling a little too freely. All right. Falling a little too freely. So let's go one click to the right. Try it again. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, that looks better. Okay, that one looks really good. Okay, let's give our practice throw here. Just a simple oom. Get the line wet. That's not too bad. Yep, not too bad. I think we got it. Right. All right, guys, one of the things I keep forgetting to show everybody, when I use my uh, container to hold my bait, I, I want to, if, well, let me put it out and that way I can show everybody again. Um, I call it a chafe line. I mean, you can do almost any type of system you want, but you know, the the, the, the edge of this cement here, and the, the other areas will eventually wear into your line, okay? So you figure out what is the best. Yeah, like right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the rubber tubing here, which is Tigon tubing for aquariums. And it's about two feet here, they're right at the, the halfway mark. I can put it on the edge like that. Okay. Then, then from there, just tie it up like you normally would. That's it. Oh, I get some beat already. Okay, this one took a whack. Got the live Vicky on it. Hopefully the live Vicky's still there. Oh, there's something there. Oh, I don't know now. I think he came off. Yeah. Oh, nope, something's there. Whoa, whoa. I'm backing up. Barry? Barry Cooter. Smaller one. Smaller uh, one. Well, that one's not too bad. Well, he took him. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah. Whoa. Barry Cuda, huh? <laughs> hey, Barry.